greater. I mean, this guy, he can play. He bluffs. He makes good calls. He's got great gambling no instinct. Not my, uh, this is what a great poker player is all about. All right, it's going to be on David Chu this time. Down to our final four players. Here comes David Chu coming in for 12,000. Well, he's got a big hand. He's got ace, queen. Lane's going out. And lane folds. Now look at this. Men the master has picked up the speed limit. Two fives. I am all in. He's moved all in. He's going all in. Is he speeding here with these two fives? The crowd loving this. Uh, Mr. Jerry Buss has a, a little decision. He has king nine of spade, but he's not going to call. He's getting out of the way. Well, look at the value, though. <laughs> I'm gonna, I, I hit that hand. I'm, I'm playing heads up with you, you know? <laughs> so now David's got to decide whether he wants to put the rest of his chips in. Well, it's 43,000 more to David Chu. Now, interestingly enough, four-handed, a pair of fives is very strong. But ace-queen is extremely strong, too. Well, I would be surprised for this amount of money if David Chu folded this hand. So the action is picking up here. David Chu's going to call. And there it. it is. David Chu is calling. Another showdown. We've got two fives by Men the Master. He's a slight favorite right now over the ace queen. Will he do it? Stay tuned for the exciting conclusion of this pot to see if the master stays alive right here on the World Poker Tour. Jam the copier. Um, yeah. Absolutepoker.com. You in? Welcome back to the World Poker Tour Invitational. Right now, we have Min the Master all in. If he loses this pot, he'll be gone. He has two fives. He's a slight favorite over David Chu's ace-queen. Okay, here we go with the flop. And Bingo. it's a queen on the flop. David Chu catches a queen on the flop. Min the Master is disgruntled right now. He knows he's got to catch a five or he's out of this tournament. Okay, 4th Street is not going to be a 5. He's going to need a miracle for the last card. He's got to have a 5. He does not catch it. Men the Master has gone out. Back to back, we've lost Tony Maul and Men the Master, two tournament players of the year. He puts his jacket on. He smiles. But he is gone, Vince, out in 4th position. And we are down to our final three players. Men, the master, a great gentleman. We hate to see him go. A big smile. What a competitor. But David Chu outdraws him there with the ace queen. There is nothing that I can do. There is a poker. So today I lose, tomorrow I win. It can ever, never change men, the master. Just to despite the crowd. Bet you must think this is like a Hollywood home game. I mean, they're bannering, they're laughing. Yeah, I played in a game or two, yeah. <laughs> well, on the World Poker Tour, we play mostly No Limit Hold'em. But in home games, there's a variety of games that people play, and our own Shauna Hyatt has more on that. In this edition of the WPT Poker Corner, when it comes to home games, for many a celebrity, it's a good excuse to corral a close-knit circle of friends for a little quality time. I play poker quite a bit. I play Wednesday nights with all the guys. We have a group of friends that play poker every week. We used to have tournaments at my house. My house. I've had a game in my house going on for 14, 15 years. It's, it's a lot of laughs. I get ridiculed for um, my bad snacks. Meatloaf has uh, played in my game a couple of times. Charlie Durning. Dave Schwimmer. Rod Steiger. Of course, now he hasn't brought his money back. It's mostly just to get together with people and, and have fun. Does strip poker count? Oh, it's a lot of fun. But for some, the home game can be a serious affair to remember when a fistful of dollars is on the line. The most money I've ever won in a home game is $11,000. 
16,000. There's a, a ridiculous, terrible, cruel game called Bloody Sevens. They go like this, 1,200. They look for an extra $200. I caught the guy cheating and they're all devious. Yeah, that, that one will hurt you. Yeah, it hurts. Some celebs forego home games altogether, preferring the sting and excitement of big-time tournaments over the friendly wager among friends. I never played in a home game in my life. No. It's hard for me to schedule a home game. I played in tournaments. I usually come in and play poker tournaments whenever I get the chance. I played in uh, six no-limit tournaments. Oh, I think tournaments are exciting. Tournaments are fun because you get a high that you don't get in home games. It's very relaxing for me. So whether you prefer high-stakes tournaments or steak on the grill home games, understanding the mechanics is still key to sparing your sanity and your savings. I'm trying to give them a couple tips. I think people have an image of poker that it's kind of hard. Stay in no matter what, stay in. I thought that it was mainly about bluffing. But it's not that way. But I learned you just got to be cool and not bet so much in the beginning. I think you should fold sometimes. Sometimes when I play poker, I'm happy. See, it's that easy. When I lose... Well, Vince, I got to tell you, I'm starstruck around here. This is like a who's who of People magazine. What's interesting is now you've got a VIP celebrity guest. The owner of the Lakers, Jerry Buss, has made the final three players. Ah, kill me. That's slave. This is quite an accomplishment. It sure is. But right now he has really got a mountain to climb because these two guys he's up against are two legitimate poker all-stars. Now the action's on, David. Obviously the oh, he's laying this one down. <laughs> Lane's got a deuce. Nine of clubs this time. Yeah. He's going to call it. Now, look at this. Jerry Buss has got a pair of sixes, but he's not going to raise with it. Now, that's that's a weak play, in my opinion. I think Jerry should raise Here Lane Flack the right there. Don't get yourself outplayed after the flop. And now Lane has outflopped him. He's flopped a pair of nines. Yes, he has. He but bets 4000 on the flop, and Jerry calls him. That's right. Jerry has an inside straight draw. Now a 10 comes up. Now two 10s are out there. Now Lane still has the best hand with two nines. Jerry has two sixes. Lane bets 7,000, and Jerry calls again. The crowd cheers. They love it when he's in a pot. He's going to need help to win this one, though. Wham! He gets it. Oh, that's a huge card. Look at this. He has made a full house. Yes, he has. Now, how's he going to play it? This is a huge last card for Jerry Buss. And Lane turns around looks at the crowd. He had checked. Jerry bets 15,000. What are you milking me for? Lane shows him the pair of nines and lays his hand down. And Jerry shows him the full house. The six came at the river. Well, look at the instinct of Lane Flack not knowing when to get out. Jerry just had to sneeze on that. He was going to get him out just by his reaction. Well, Vince, give Lane credit there. He bet on the flop with the best hand. He bet on four street with the best hand. When he had the worst hand, he checked. Jerry bet he threw his hand away. Uncanny. Ability by Lane Flack right there, even though he lost that pot. Uh, small pot. Right. Did you take well, it's going to be up to Lane Flack, who he's picked up. A deuce and a three. He's not going to play it. Now Jerry's in a small blind with a queen ten offsuit. And he calls. He's just going to call it with a queen ten. David Chu has a jack ten and calls. Here we go. Now look at this, that, that pairs up David. Hits him with a pair of jacks. Now Jerry's the first to speak. Now he's leading out and betting at this pot with a queen 10. He has nothing. He's trying to steal it. David Chu, however, has flopped the top pair here. Yeah, Jerry's gonna try to do a little stealing job here. Let's see if it works. Well, I don't think it's gonna work when you flop the top pair, but. Now last time Jerry pushed David out with the ace. Jerry was on the semi come with the flush draw, as you remember, a few hands back. Can he push David out again? No, he's not going to do it this time. He's going to call him. He cannot. David Chu calls. Here comes 4th Street. Now, 4th Street is a king. Now, this gives Jerry an open-end straight draw. He has king, queen, jack, 10. Now, he checks. This time he checks. David still in front with the pair of jacks. Now, he's look at David bet Chu. Betting 15000 here. What a very nice bet right here by David Chu. Now, this is interesting because Jerry now has a legitimate drawing, big drawing hand, an open-ended straight. What's he going to do? Well, normally when he picks up cards like that, they muck them. And I think that's what he's going to do, or you wouldn't pick them up that high off the table. 
But he does have a draw vent. You're right about that. Where, 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 where's that coin? <laughs> where's that coin, he says. He's not going to play it. And he folds. An interesting lay down right there by Jerry. I'd like to see the next card. Can we do a little rabbit no hunting here? No rabbit hunting here on the tour. <laughs> There's a lot more poker action to come from the WPT Invitational here at the Commerce Casino. Just remember that people lie, just like in real life. And when people bluff in poker, they're lying. So be aware of that in poker and in life. Hi, I'm Norm McDonald, and you're watching the World Poker Tour. Well, that's the price of poker is going up now. It's a $1,000 ante, and the blinds are three and 6000 The winner of this free roll tournament will not only win 100000 but also get a guaranteed seat at Bellagio for the WPT Championship. Going to be very exciting. Okay, it's going to be on David Chu to act first. He's got queen five in his hand. He's going to throw it away. Lane's got queen deuce of hearts. And he's going to call to try to see a flop. Don't you ever have a premonition like maybe... Not like you do. <laughs> now look at this. Well, oh, Jerry's got ace, ten of hearts. you got to love that in a three-way situation. What's he going to do? He just knocks he's the table. He's just calling, yeah. It's a weak play here by Jerry Buss. He should have re-raised Lane Flack right there with that hand. You can't let Lane see flops because he'll outplay you after the flop. Well, this is interesting. He is betting right into Jerry. Well, he made a pair of queens. Should have raised before the flop. But he opts to fold it, and he turns up the ace-10 of hearts. He which shows is, it. It's compounding his problems, in my it opinion. It would have been a flat good raise. And Lane is chiding him here. Player of the week, Kobe Bryant. Step it up. Great poker player, Lane Flack. He's got that, that sixth sense. I got news for you. Lane Flack has a sixth, seventh, and eighth sense when it comes to no limit hold. People probably think I'm going to play a lot faster than I try to run over them, but uh, I probably won't do that. Unless the cards come as well as they did last night. <laughs> He's an action man, Lane Flack, no doubt about it. <laughs> Started with a whole bunch of players, celebs and great pros, and we're down to three, so he's doing something right. It's going to be on lane again. Must be shown. To act first, he's got uh -huh. eight queen of diamonds this time. 22. And, and he's he going to raise. He comes in for 22,000. This is very tough, David. Hmm? I knew it opened. Just shaking his head. He's, he's got a little punch. He doesn't know what to do. I got the best hand. <coughs> I had the best hand before. Well, he had the best hand before, he just said, which he did. But if on the flop... I don't have the big hand. He's going to just, right? Look about <laughs> second guessing now, but he's going to throw this hand away. He throws this hand away. I mean, he, you know, he's getting pretty timid here. David's got jack 10 of diamonds. That's a really strong hand. Well, it's the kind of hand that you want to see flops with. It's going to cost David another 16,000 to call. And he's coming in. And he does. He calls it, so we're going to see a flop here. This is yeah. David Chu and Lane Flack in the pot. Okay, well, David's picked up the pair of tens. Now the flop has come. King, 10, 6. Now an 8 comes off. And it goes check, check. It goes check, check again. <laughs> Okay, the jack hits David for two pair now. Now David has two pair and he checks again. Two sevens. Check. He's throwing a little bait out there for Lane, but Lane.